Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to be looking at how we can actually generate your scripts into videos. So um, I'm going to use the animation that I produced at the end of the beginner series here. And I'm all I'm going to do is go to Generate, Export Video. Uh, I'm going to give it a name, just call it Emu, which is great. Uh, and I'm uh, going to select 25 frames a second. Now the reason why I'm going at 25 frames a second is because I'm going to play this on a DVD. So um, this, is, uh, this is the frame rate of TV, so 25 frames a second, so remember that. Um, if I was to put this uh, end product onto uh, a YouTube or onto Twitter or wherever, it wouldn't matter that I'm going at 25 frames a second. It will automatically convert it to whatever it needs within those social networking sites. Now, with the um, audio capture, um, this is where a lot of people have troubles, and I'm not going to go into too much detail here because I want to cover this actually in the Q&A section of uh, Marvin Tube. So uh, just be aware of that. Um, so I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. Uh, this is the volume record level, so you may have to muck around with this to get the, the record level that you want. Uh, please be aware of that. And uh, I'm going to hit OK. Alright, it comes up with this little warning now. Um, some computers might not get this, some computers will. Uh, it all depends on how your audio is set up. Um, now with a lot of desktop computers you shouldn't have any troubles with um, with the audio coming through without any distortion or background noise. If you are using a laptop please refer to um, the Q&A section on how to stop getting a lot of background noise in your recordings. Um, as soon as I press OK what's going to happen is um, it's going to start to record what's happening on screen. So uh, just be aware that if you've got anything else open other than Marvin, please close it down or minimize it at least. Um, and uh, it should be OK. So as soon as I press OK, it's going to start capturing. Thank you for taking the time to watch this beginner's tutorial series. I hope you've learned enough to get started. Don't forget you can watch this tutorial at any time if you get stuck. Be sure to leave a comment so we can make this tutorial series even better. Okay, so that's now captured and what it's done is it's um, created this little file over here which is the emu mvf file. So that's the Marvin video file. In version 4 we've got a new system, uh, the, the new generation system, so please be aware of that if you have been using uh, any previous versions. Now what happens is uh, uh, it's actually put into a little editor for us. Here it is here. Um, now if I scrub through using the playhead you can see that uh, it's got our capture there. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about the rest of uh, the options here. I'm going to go straight into export and to AVI. Um, now you could go out as Flash of course and FLV, uh, but I'm just going out straight to AVI to start off with. So AVI, um, it will ask you to um, give it a name, so I'll just call it EMU um, AVI and save. And uh, it gives you um, some codec options, so depending on what sort of codecs you have installed on your computer, um, it should at least have these anyway. So um, I like to use the TechSmith screen capture codec. Um, it's actually quite a good quality codec um, that allows you to have good quality image and audio, um, but uh, the size is still of reasonable size. Um, so just be aware of that. You may want to check out some of these other ones as well, but uh, I'll stick with this one today and uh, press OK. Alright, uh, you can muck around with some of these. You've got scalings, you've got frame rates, um, different audio formats, uh, so on and so forth, but uh, if you just stick with um, the basics I think you'll be fine and just press export and that now exports out as the AVI file. Fantastic. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll open this uh, file up now you probably get a bit of distortion because of uh, the pickup with uh, the microphone, so please be aware of that. Thank you for taking the time to watch this beginner's tutorial series. 
I hope you've learned enough to get started. Don't forget you can watch this tutorial at any time if you get stuck. Be sure to leave a comment so we can make this tutorial series even better. Okay, so there you go. So that's uh, the end format. I'm sorry about the distortion on the playback on that, but uh, because I'm recording through the microphone, it's actually picking up through the microphone. When you produce your own, you shouldn't have any troubles whatsoever. If you do, just let us know and we'll try and sort you out.